I just love his personality. Tragedy in Portville. 19-year-old Caden Belisle killed. Two others injured when a pickup truck hit two parked vehicles on Route 417 early Saturday morning, according to the Cattaraugus County Sheriff's Office. Ethan Smusinski, who enjoyed skiing with Belisle, a favorite pastime of theirs, remembers his friend. He always talked to me. He didn't look at me different. Like, made me part of the crowd, I guess. Keegan Belisle, Caden's brother, taking to Facebook to thank the community for their support and to ask for privacy. I'm in Portville right now, just across the street from the site of the accident. The pickup came eastbound down 417 before colliding with the two parked vehicles that hit the victims right behind me. And just over here, a memorial for Belial, set up by his friends. Tried to so get me to socialize more and like hang out with me. It's, it's like he never forgot about me. Belial, a 2021 graduate of Olean High School, trained to work as an electrical lineman and planned to work with the National Grid, according to Spink Funeral Homes obituary. As for the other victims of the crash, 18-year-old Gabby Kranick sustained multiple back and neck injuries and was on breathing support for a time. 16-year-old Haley Bellow suffered a high ankle fracture and a broken foot before doctors released her earlier this week. These reports, according to GoFundMe pages, set up on the girl's behalf. I reached out to the Cat County Sheriff's Office multiple times this week, but could not confirm the identity of the 20-year-old driver who caused the crash or any charges against them. Police did say they suspect the presence of intoxicants was involved. Despite this, Smusinski leaving a message about cherishing your loved ones. Hug them, talk to them more. For SBU-TV, I'm Rich Williams.